The West Indian Tobacco Company is concerned about the illicit importation and sale of cigarettes on the market. Speaking at the company's AGM today, Managing Director Jean-Pierre de Coudray said they hoped to curb this illegal trade and had sought government's assistance in the matter. The problem of illicit trade is one that affects all society negatively. And the solution can only be truly effective if these stakeholders understand, appreciate, and respond as one. There's also been, there has also been and will continue to be a focus on educating the public of the ills of illicit trade and the ways that supporting the sale of illicit products, tobacco products, damages society and increases crime. The group, however, managed a silver lining as it has realized an increase in market share due to efforts to combat the illegal trade. And this is one of the reasons why we relaunched our Mondo brand, which we had removed from the market some years ago, um, because we realized that consumers were looking for a more affordable issue. And if we didn't have a brand down there to fight with these um, cheaper brands in the market, we may lose some market share. Um, and I'm happy to say that the relaunch of Mondo has been a resounding success. Um, Mondo was relaunched in 2015, um, where in that year we just achieved 2% market share for Mondo, and this year we market share of Mondo is going to be about 30%. The company said, too, it needed to look to the changing market with the evolution of electronic cigarettes and vaping products. BAT is looking at it very seriously. We have, we have purchased some companies in Europe. We have done some some test markets in, in Europe and even um, in Africa and Australia. Um, the, the problem we're having is um, capacity because it's a totally new technology, so we have to, we have to, it's something we have to learn 